So in this problem, we're looking at an application of inequalities in two variables. We're told that Hugh works two part-time jobs, one at a grocery store that pays $10 an hour, and the other is babysitting for $13 per hour. Between the two jobs, Hugh wants to earn at least $260 a week. How many hours does Hugh need to work at each job to earn at least $260? For part A, we are told to let X be the number of hours he works at the grocery store and Y be the number of hours he works babysitting and told to write an inequality that would model, model this situation. So we want the amount per hour times the hours he works for the grocery store plus $13 per hour times the number of hours he works babysitting. So since those are X and Y accordingly our inequality would be 10x plus 13y. We're told he wants to make at least $260, so at least is greater than or equal to 260. Now for part B, we're asked to graph the inequality. So the first step in that would be to graph the boundary line. We could solve for y, we could plot points, uh, it's totally up to you. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to solve for y. So 13y subtracting 10x from both sides is greater than or equal to, and actually I'll just make it equal since we're graphing the boundary line, 13y equals negative 10x plus 260. And divide both sides by 13 and we get y equals negative 10 thirteenths x plus 260 divided by 13 that's just going to be 20 13 times 20 is 260 so let's go ahead and make a scale on here of, let's make each one of these tick marks 5. So 5, 10, 15, so on and so forth. 5, 10, 15, 20. Actually, I'm going to make it a little wider. Let's make every 2 worth 5. So 5, 10, 15, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40. And again, y is the number of hours he works babysitting. And we'll do the same thing in the x direction. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, so on and so forth. Now we know our our y-intercept is 20 because y equals negative 10 thirteenths x plus 20 that's in slope intercept form so we'll put mark here at 0 20 and now we also want to look at let's go ahead and let's uh, let's use the other intercept because we're going to be going down we, we know that much because we're looking at a negative slope so rather than using the slope, let's just say y equals 0. So in other words, we're looking for the x-intercept. So negative 10 thirteenths x plus 20 equals 0. Negative 10 thirteenths x equals negative 20. Multiply both sides by negative 13 tenths and we get x equals negative 20 divided by 10 is negative 2 times negative 13 is 26 so we can plot a point out here at 26 0 
Now we're looking at a an inclusive inequality. 10x plus 13y is greater than or equal to 260. So we know that this is going to be a solid line. And now it's a matter of which side of the line do we shade on. So let's test a point. So this is still part B continue. I'll, I'll put B continued. We'll test 0, 0. So 10 times 0 plus 13 times 0. Is that greater than or equal to 260? Well, that's 0 is greater than or equal to 260. So that's false. So we want to shade on the opposite side, which would be above here. And then we're asked to pick in part C three order pairs that would be solutions to the inequality. So let's say we pick 26, 0. And let's pick, and you can pick any three points you want. Let's go with 20, 20. And let's go with 0, 40. Now what this means, with this first one, it means if he works 26 hours at the grocery store in zero hours babysitting he's still going to make greater than or equal to two hundred and sixty dollars in fact in that case it would be exactly two hundred sixty dollars because it's on the line uh, the same thing with 2020 if he works 20 hours at the store and 20 hours babysitting he'll make more than 260 dollars and if he works zero hours at the store and 40 hours babysitting he'll make greater than or equal to 260 dollars uh, and you could figure out the exact amounts by plugging it into uh, plugging it into 10x plus 13y just the expression but we know since all of those are in the shaded region, pick any point in the shaded region, and that combination of hours at that point where X is the number of hours at the grocery store and Y is the number of hours at babysitting, he's going to make greater than or equal to $260.